Hi, this is Jimshade. My first request is to subscribe my channel. It motivates me and it gives me more fuel to make more videos for you. It serves as a catalyst for me. So, very humble request again to subscribe my channel. Let's start CSCP Lecture 6, Module 1, Book 1, Chapter 1, Introduction to the Supply Chain. In Lecture 5, we have st already studied the stepped down supply chain. That is a very basic model of the supply chain. We, we already discussed in lecture 5 about that and the second one is the manufacturing supply chain we study this and the service industry supply chain model in the lecture 6 let's start for second manufacturing supply chain model discussion of the supply chain put the manufacturer at the center and the supplier of the components at the left look in, you can see the exhibit 1-6 the nucleus firm which is a manufacturer may be actually the designer of the product or the scene maker who outsource all the manufacturing. Component supplier is the most critical consideration when managing the supply chain for the manufacturing product. Utilities and services are important for the cost consideration of the operations. Exhibit 1-6 Manufacturing Supply Chain Model Look at the model on the right side of the manufacturer are distributors and customers on the on the left side is tier 1 supplier and tier 2 suppliers so the manufacturer you can consider is a company that is making the bread that is making the bread from the floor so it is so tier 1 supplier is the supplier of the manufacturer for example the whole seller of the floor is tier 1 supplier of the manufacturer so tier 1 has its own suppliers that are called tier 2 for example tier 2 the plant making the floor the whole seller of the floor by the floor from the plant that makes it from the wheat you tier 3 maybe the farmers the floor making plant may buy the wheat from the farmer one important thing is to consider no matter how you travel for you will never run out of the new tiers of the suppliers an important thing is to note the distributor is a business that doesn't make manufacture its own products but purchase and resell these products Number three, service industry supply chain example. Based on the definition of APEC 15 edition, and a service industry, in a narrow sense, an organization that provides the intangible products like medical, legal services, um, warehousing, logistics. In broader sense, all organizations except mining, farming, and manufacturing. Now, look at the exhibit 1-7 utility supply chain electric power utility is a is a basically uh, manufacture of electricity is a power plant that is giving its electricity to other utilities home customers commercial users like it comes in home so it has its own suppliers but somebody is providing its fuel for example if it's running on uh, the gas or uh, petrol so it it has like fuel suppliers electric backup suppliers le electric transformers facility maintenance programming services like software services janitorial services like daily operational services it requires so here comes so this sec six lectures now finished now chapter two is finished we're gonna go to solve the mcqs of the chapter